Healthy snacks available is a great way to stay away from grabbing junk food when you're hungry. Well, tonight on Paige's Kitchen, we have the recipe for a breakfast snack bar that you can take on the go. Tonight on Paige's Kitchen, we're making a breakfast bar or maybe just an afternoon snack bar. It only uses three ingredients and then you'll put it into the oven. So let's take a look at what we're using. First, we'll be just using about a teaspoon of cinnamon. We'll be also using some quick oats, some honey, and natural peanut butter. Now, if you've never used natural peanut butter before, make sure that you notice at the top there's a lot of oil floating in it. This is just peanuts and salt, basically. So what you'll need to do is stir this up really well. I usually use Use like an iced tea spoon or anything that you can get into the container, but make sure that you do uh, stir it up really good. That'll take actually about two or three minutes just to stir that up. So I've already put the peanut butter in here. It's also a very loose peanut butter, so don't be surprised. It actually pours almost um, like liquid, so it's very different than the other type of peanut butter. So let's go ahead and use our honey that we have natural honey, our peanut butter, and oats. So let's get started. So. This is going to be a half a cup of honey. Now there are lots of local honeys that are really good, so I encourage you, if you can, uh, take a look in your grocery store and use some of our local honey. This is a Florida honey. Um, the honeys have a lot of different flavors. You may like one that's orange blossom or clover, so take a look at the label and use what it is that your family likes the best. I'm putting this inside my um, measuring cup that I love to use. You've seen me use it before because it makes it so easy for, for liquid ingredients because you're just going to push, push it like that and then you'll have everything in there. Then I'll be adding the oats to, the, to this. I like to put the liquids in first because I think it makes it easier to stir and that way you don't have a lot of dry ingredients left over on the bottom. So I'll go ahead and add the oats in here and I'm not really going to measure the cinnamon. I just this is what I think it looks like, about a teaspoon full. You'll be baking these for about 15 to 18 minutes. And I'm putting them in an eight inch pan. And inside the pan, I have uh, that nonstick aluminum foil. I don't know if you've used that before, but it's great. If you don't have that, then use some parchment paper. Um, and this will take a few minutes to get the, all this incorporated. I started thinking one day that I like breakfast bars and the ones that I like, they're almost $3 a piece. And then I started adding all that up. And over the, a year's time, I thought, am I spending like $1,000 on breakfast bars? That's crazy. So I can, think I can do better than that at home. So it's really important to shop around right now with grocery prices. There's a big, big difference in prices, especially for things as simple as oatmeal and peanut butter. So as you can see, I've got all this incorporated. I'm just gonna put this in this nonstick pan, or uh, the foil, and mash this down really well. And this will take a few minutes. And that's that's all there is to it. I mean, this this is a great project that you could do with kids because it's so simple and I think they'll like making this. Um, once you've mashed this down and put this in the oven, just keep a watch on it. The top of it will start to turn brown and so the edges will turn brown. So 15 to 18 minutes it will be done. Now I made some of these last night I want to show you. We'll put those in the oven in a minute. And the reason that you have the foil longer on the ends, that way you can just pick it right out and cut it. And the bars, when they bake up, they bake up really nicely. Make sure you keep them in an airtight container. And that's all there is to it. 15 to 18 minutes in the oven. You saw how quickly that I mixed all that up. You'll be saving money, and I really think your family will love these. You can do this. Well, on Page Ads, you can add other ingredients, certainly, such as chocolate or carob chips to the recipe. And you'll find that recipe on WCJB.com.